Here's why I am buying CRO instead of BNB. Reason number one is because I believe that CRO has a lot more room to grow than BNB. And let me explain what I mean by this. As of right now, CRO is around 11 times lower than its all time high price. The price of CRO is very oversold. However, I actually think that's a good thing because the way I view it is that the lower the price, the bigger the potential. It's much like dating in my opinion. If I want to date a chick, I want to date a chick who hasn't had a lot of ex-boyfriends, right? The less number of ex-boyfriends, the better it is for me. I don't want to date someone who's had like five ex-boyfriends. You know, no way, that'd be a disaster. That's like an impending torpedo. Much like in the case of cryptos, the lower the price, the better it is for me. And the price of CRO as of right now is very low. It's around 90% lower than its all-time high price. However, on the flip side, if you take a look at BNB, BNB is only around two times lower than its all-time high price. And I actually don't think that's a good thing. Yes, the price of BNB hasn't been that oversold as much as CRO, but I think in terms of potential upside, it's not really there anymore. If we're just talking about cryptos returning back to their all-time high price, the potential upside of CRO completely hands down beats BNB. You know, again, right, CRO is around 11 times lower than its all-time high price. BNB is only around two times. And I am choosing an 11x over a 2x any day of the week. You know, let's say during the next bull run, BNB were to double its all-time high price. You know, let's say that were the case. That's only around a 4x from here. And what are you going to do with a 4x, right? A 4x is really bad in my opinion. A 4x can't even buy your baby mama a new vibrator. That's how bad a 4x is. But on the other hand, if CRO were to double its all-time high price, it would be around a 22x from here. A 22x can most definitely buy that baby mama the new vibrator that she's been looking for. You know, that can do that. You know, people who bought BNB a couple of years ago, they made it big. You know, they had insane gains with BNP. But as of right now, I feel like the price of BNB has relatively matured. You know, I think the days of BNB doing a 34x, you know, doing a 50x, you know, I think those days are behind BNB. Yes, in the past, BNB was able to provide amazing and fantastic gains. But as of right now, I don't think BNB can do those type of numbers anymore. You know, for example, do I think BNB can do a 34x from here? I just don't think it's possible because let's say BNB were to 34x from here, it would have a 1.6 trillion dollar market cap. And that's just simply not a possibility for BNB because a 1.6 trillion dollar market cap is nearly double the global crypto market cap right now. That number is way too high for BNB. It's just not a realistic number. However, on the flip side, if CRO were to do a 34x from here, you know, that's actually very realistic because a 34x for CRO would mean that it would have a 72.5 billion dollar market cap. And that is actually a very realistic number because if you think about it, in 2021, Dogecoin at its peak reached a market cap of over $88 billion. And Dogecoin, you know, it's a meme coin. It has nowhere near the fundamentals of CRO. So if Dogecoin can reach an $88 plus billion market cap, why can't CRO? And BNB two years ago reached over $105 billion. So I think $72.5 billion for CRO is actually very achievable. Long story short, if CRO were to do a 34x, that's very realistic realistic. BNB, it can't do a 34x anymore. So personally speaking, I believe that CRO is a no-brainer pick for me. Reason number two, I believe that the Kronos chain has a lot more potential than the Binance Smart Chain. As of right now, the Kronos chain has nearly 70 million on-chain transactions. However, if you compare it to the Binance Smart Chain, the Binance Smart Chain has over 3 billion on-chain transactions. So yes, the Binance ecosystem is a lot bigger than Kronos, but I think that Kronos has a longer journey ahead. The Kronos ecosystem has a lot more room to grow. And as the Kronos chain continues to grow, so will the fundamentals of CRO. And it's going to take time though, you know, it's not going to just happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen in a month. It's going to take multiple years for the Kronos chain to truly become something special. However, I think it is just a matter of time and I don't want to miss out on it, which is why I keep buying more and more CRO as of right now. I want to be a part of that growth. You know, I don't want to buy CRO when the Kronos chain has over a billion transactions, when it has over 2 billion transactions. You know, I want to buy CRO right here, right now, when the Kronos chain is still relatively not as big as the rest, so to speak. I think the ceiling of the Kronos chain is still very far away. It hasn't reached its true potential yet. It's much like in real estate. You want to buy a property that has a lot of potential upside. There's no point buying a property that 
doesn't have much room to grow anymore. You know, there's no point. You know, the way I take a look at it is that the Kronos chain is like a property in a developing neighborhood. You know, the true value of that is still yet to be determined. However, on the flip side, if I take a look at the Binance Smart Chain, it's like buying a property in Palm Beach, Florida. You know, the neighborhood there is already developed, houses there, they're overpriced, not much room to grow anymore. So yes, the Binance Smart Chain is absolutely massive, but it's already done a lot of its growing. When it comes to the Kronos chain, there's still a lot more growing left to do. The best is yet to come for Kronos. Reason number three, I believe that Crypto.com, the exchange, is better than Binance. And what do I mean by that? I mean that the user interface of Crypto.com is just a lot more intuitive, it's more simple, it's easier to use than Binance. If you take a look at Binance's user interface, you know, it's tacky, it's overly complicated, and it's just all over the place. In fact, right, I have a lot of friends who use Binance and they always constantly have to look up videos online on how to do certain things on Binance. They have to look up, oh, Binance tutorial, all of this type of stuff. And why is that the case? It's simply because they don't know how to navigate through the exchange. They're just very confused by the app. But you know, when it comes to crypto.com, very rarely do you see anyone ever search up tutorials on how to do certain things on crypto.com. You know, it's almost unheard of. And why is that? It's because the app, it's easy to use. It doesn't confuse people you know a lot of the Binance fanboys they like to say oh Binance it's the best app you know I don't think it's the best app it's the biggest app yeah sure but in terms of user interface you know it's complete caca you know the type of people who use Binance are the types to let their girlfriend's boyfriend you know raw dog their girlfriend you know that's the type of people who like to use Binance app because you know people who use the Binance app you know, they like to do things very overly complicated, right? They like their girlfriends just how they like their crypto exchanges. And that is very complicated. They like complicated girlfriends. They like complicated exchanges. Which is why, again, right, they like to do nonsense things like share their girlfriend and let other dudes raw dog them. And that's why I can't stand the Binance fanatics. You know, they're very delusional. They keep thinking that their exchange is the best. But clearly, in my opinion, Crypto.com is just a lot better. And now, this isn't coming from a judgmental standpoint of view. It's just more so coming from an observational standpoint of view. And this is what I've observed when it comes to Binance. You know, the app... I just don't like it. Reason number four, it is because I believe that the Kronos chain is a lot more secure than the Binance Smart Chain. And now some people may be wondering, oh, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is this right here. In fact, if you take a look at this chart, According to this, over 21% of the total crypto hacks that happened back in 2022 happened on the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem. And I think this is a very shocking statistic because the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem isn't even the biggest out there. And the fact that over 21% of the total crypto hacks happened on it last year, I think it's just completely unacceptable. I mean, you won't see any of these issues happening on the Kronos chain. If you take a look at the Kronos chain, it was able to process over 65 million on-chain transactions for over 1 million users without any downtime. And that's very impressive right there because that, if anything, shows just how reliable the Kronos chain is. It doesn't have any problems. The reliability of the Kronos chain, it's on a whole nother level. You know, the Kronos chain's reliability is like having a loyal girlfriend who's not cheating all the time. You know, the Binance and smart chain you know it's yeah it's very big but you know if a lot of hacks happen on it you know what's the point it's like dating a girl who's hot you know that's good right but if she's cheating all the time really what's the point point? and that's four reasons why i am choosing cro over bnb i just think cro has a lot more potential upside than bnb and also on top of that i just think it's fundamentally better and quick disclaimer this is just my opinion only and this is not a invitation to buy sell or trade cro and bnb and if you want to check out my cro millionaire video go ahead and check this video out it's amazing it's wonderful and i think you you all would love it. So go ahead and check this video out.